Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, today I will be doing my May favorites. I cannot believe May's already over and we're going to be in the month of June. I just, I don't know where this year's going. It's crazy, but who knows? So yeah, um, Emily is also posting hers today too. So make sure you check out hers as well as this one and you like and you comment and you subscribe to our channel because we're good. No, <laughs> but anyways. So let's start with beauty favorites. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I've heard a lot of YouTubers talk about this and um, I've heard good things and I was like, I don't know, I just don't understand how a spray can be so good and it's like kind of expensive, but I actually really like it. It um, really like, I don't know, like not moisturizes, it just like makes my spin, my skin feel like hydrated I guess and I put this on before and after I do my makeup and I don't know I really like it I like the smell of it and it's just it's good like I don't think it's like something everyone needs to go out and like get but I think like if you want to do splurge then I say go for it because it's really good the next prime yeah primer that I got is the makeup forever professional step one skin equalizer base mattifying and if, if you have oh, I can't talk if you have seen past videos, um, you know that I like being more matte. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to splurge and get this. And I love it. Like, it's really good. For those of you guys who like being matte, I strongly suggest you go and pick this up at Sephora or Ulta. No, I don't know if Ulta has makeup forever. But what, just go and get this because it's really good. It's it, like, I don't think it was that expensive, but... It's a, it's a pretty good size. You only need a little bit and it's really, I feel like I keep saying it's really good, but it is. It's amazing. Um, the next, my next favorite, I feel like I keep saying the next thing I got and I don't know, I'm just like, this isn't a haul, but speaking of hauls, so I've been shopping a lot and I've been wanting to film a haul, but like, I, I don't know how people feel about hauls, so if you can just let me know in the comments, like, yes, we'd like to see a haul, or no, like, I know some people don't like them, just let me know and I can do whatever. I, I personally like hauls, but let me know what you guys want to see, because I love showing what I got and I love seeing what other people got, so then I can go and get it, but let me know. So the next favorite that I have is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Go get this. It's so good. Here I go again saying so good. But it really is. It's I'm in the color 104 Golden Beige. And it's just a really good coverage drugstore foundation. I, it lasts on me all day. I don't have to reapply it. Where like my other ones I feel like I do that are from drugstore. This one's just as good as high end I think. And if you like being matte like me, go and get this. It's really good. I, um, I feel like I'm like sponsor in Target but I'm not like go to Target and pick this up because I know it's a few dollars cheaper than it is at CVS or any drugstore so I've been loving this my next favorite what am I doing my next favorite is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer I got the color Light Warm it's like that I've heard so many um YouTubers talk about this and I know why because it's so it really is so good like it covers it brightens it's amazing and you guys need to go get this because it's really good the next favorite like duo that I have I guess is the Anastasia the brow is pencil in the dip brow pomade and obviously I use this to fill my eyebrows in and before I used to like the Too Faced one but I don't even touch that one anymore because I really do like this one. I think it's easy to apply and I'm not good at filling in my brows like I'm still new to it but I I don't know I think this is easy and it has a spoolie at the end and the dip, prow, dip brow pomade it just thickens my brows so they're not so like they're more I don't know like more you know what I mean like more shape and more fuller. So I've really been liking these two together and I'm in the color soft brown. I don't know if I already said that. But yeah, these have been really good this month. I've been using them like every day because now I just cannot leave my house without my eyebrows then. Um, my next favorite is this blush palette from e.l.f. where uh, I'm pretty sure Emily 
talked about this in one of our past videos. I think it was our makeup haul, drugstore haul. I'm not really sure. I'll have it linked down below so you guys can go watch it. But I've been loving this. She picked this up and I was like, oh, like, I don't know. I don't need it. Like, I didn't get it. Then she tried it and she's like, you need to go buy this. So I did. And I got, I also got it. And it retails for like $6. And I've been loving this. I got this kind of a long time ago. And I didn't really touch it, but this month, oh my goodness, I have been loving all of these, but especially this one, the brown, which I didn't think I was going to like. Oops. I didn't think I was going to like at all, but it's so, it just makes you look more like bronzed and tan, like, it's good. I highly suggest you guys go get in this because it's cheap and the colors are really good. And it's really pigmented, so if you guys do decide to purchase this, make sure you use a very light hand because... It could make you look like a clown. I did that this morning, actually. Um, my next favorite this month is uh, Becca Highlighter in Opal, which I actually picked up this month. And I've been wanting one of these, but didn't really want to, like, splurge on it. But I was like, whatever. Like, I'm just going to do it. And it was worth it. This is in the color Opal. I don't know if I... Did I just say that? Whatever. But it's really pretty. It looks like that right there. And it just obviously it makes your face look highlighted and yeah I don't know it's really good and I've been loving it this month and let me know what other kind of highlight I've like been on a highlighter like loving them this month or just been loving them in general so let me know what you got um kind you guys like because I've okay let me know if you guys have tried any of the Becca highlighters and which ones I should think about purchasing because I really want to try the like blushed one that came out the like orangey one I'm pretty sure it's new. It looks so pretty, but it looks really pigmented. So let me know what you guys think or if you guys have purchased it and if I should invest in it. My next favorite is these Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Um, I don't know the name, but I'll have the um, link down below. I'll have everything linked down below. And they're just so pretty. I love these. I'm actually probably when I get out of work tonight going to purchase um more makeup geek eyeshadows because she came out with more and i want them all and they're only 10.99 they're so cheap but these are the two colors right there and they're just so pretty i love makeup geek like ugh, i'm gonna go on today and buy more because they're so good and they're so cheap like i think they might be even better than high-end makeup eyeshadows makeup eyeshadows Speaking of eyeshadows, I guess we'll stay on these. So, I think in my last April favorites, I mentioned the Lorac palettes, but I mentioned them again because I love them so much. Like, these are my go-to palettes every day. I have the first and the second one. They're so good, you guys. Like, you need to go and pick them up. So, that's that one. The black one. And this is the gold one. They're so good, you guys. Go get them. Like... I want to say they're like $42, but they're worth every penny. <laughs> they are. Okay, so now staying on the eyeshadow thing. The um, next favorites that I have are the ColourPop Kathleen Lights um, eyeshadow that she came out with, the quads. And Emily actually did a... Um, she posted a video about them, so if you guys want to go check it out, I'll have that link down below. But these are the colors. So this, okay, how about, this is Cornelius. Uh, I'll swatch them for you guys. Alright. That's Cornelius right there. Really a nice brown. It's a nice transition state. Uh, nice trans position shade it's really good so the next shade is blaze and kathleen lights is my favorite youtuber like i love her so that's um blaze it's a wicked pretty and the next one is um that i've been loving is cat this one's called kathleen lights oh this one's like my favorite these are so pigmented and for $25 like oh my gosh that one's Kathleen lights they're really good they just are so easy to apply and then this one is glow which I 
been using for like a highlight shade like underneath my eyebrows it's just that one or in the inner corner so yeah these have i've been loving these these months she did an awesome job with them if one day she'd recognize me but whatever um she's awesome and she should be proud because i love them <laughs> I'll probably repurchase them once I run out because it'll probably happen soon. And the next one that I've been loving is called Cowboy. It's this purple color I just picked up from ColourPop and it looks like that. And I don't have anything like it and it's just a pretty purple. been wearing it a lot because it's just it's pretty like I just said. <laughs> um, my next favorite is this uh, bronzer which I'm just that. It's from NYC and it's called um sunny it's just a good bronzer it's um i heard it's like a dupe for the hula bronzer and it's really good affordable so yeah um that's pretty much it for that the my next beauty favorite i love this and i love okay it's the shade in yeah shade and light contour palette from kat von d and Kat Von D is like my favorite um, high-end makeup at Sephora. It's just, I just find myself always going there first when I walk in. And her stuff's just awesome. These colors are amazing. They're so pigmented and just like so, I don't know. I just think they're, it's so much better than the Anastasia one. I just love them. So those are the colors. I'm sure you guys have seen other YouTubers talk about this, but yeah the only downside is that the anastasia ones you can refill them these ones you can if you like run out of a color you have to um go and like pick up another palette but whatever it's worth it like these are huge anyways that's going to take you a long time to even go through the palette and i just like the yellow shade i like the contour shades i've just been using them every day this month since i picked it up my last beauty favorites okay oh oh last beauty favorite is the oops, maybelline um last sensational mascara and it's really good the wand looks like that I'm, again i'm sure you guys have heard many people talk about this it's really good affordable it's um yeah just really good i've been using that my okay so i have a lot of lipstick products that we'll try and go through fast so um for a drugstore i've been loving you guys know that i love the maybelline matte collections i've already talked about that so i didn't want to get into it but um these have been um i've been loving these these month this i cannot talk this month so these are the revlon color burst matte bomb yeah they are i'm just gonna swatch them for you guys so you can see how pigmented and pretty that um these colors are so this is in the color Shall we flambone? It's really pretty. It's like a bright pink, but purple. I don't know. It's really good. I've been loving that color. It's perfect for spring and summer. Um, my next one that I have is 210 you unapologetic. Unapologetic. I cannot talk. This one's also really bright and good for spring and summer. And these are really good. Like, for a drugstore. They're good. And my la the last one that I have is 250 Stand Out Remarkable. I think that's what it says. These are small. And it's these ones. I've been loving these these months. These months. I've been loving these these months. I've been loving these this month because they're just really like I don't know they're really creamy and matte and I find that they they last a pretty long time and for a drugstore they're good they have a bunch of colors so I've been loving those um okay let's let's try and get through this fast another um lipstick that I've been loving is the is this one I just picked up actually and it's just really pretty it's different I don't have anything like this it's called Rosa it's the Stila liquid lipstick i'm not sure if these are new i heard that they came out with a new spring collection um liquid lipstick i'm pretty sure they are but this one's just really pretty i don't know i just not something i have like this baby pink light of a pink so yeah it's really pretty if you follow me on instagram you saw 
when I went mini golfing, this is the the color I was wearing. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I have it linked down below so you can follow Emily and I. Yeah. And then my next favorite lipstick that I've been loving is Melted Chihuahua by Too Faced. Too Faced is my favorite, also high end. I love these liquid lipsticks. This is the, in the color Chihuahua. I just find myself, I don't know, I don't have a reason why I've been grabbing it. It's just, I have been. I don't know. I just really like it. So yeah, formulas are good for those. Love them. Um, my next favorite lipstick of the month, I just picked this one up and it's not something I would typically ever like go and grab, but I was like, you know what? I wanted to try one of these and I don't have like um, a color like this. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to get like a pink because I have 500 pinks. I'm going to get this one. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and they're coming out with more tomorrow depending on when this video is on the 28th at my Macy's so I'm going tomorrow right when they open I'm getting more colors and this is in the color potion it looks almost black but there's um it's not it's like purple it's like a, a eggplant kind of color and it looks like that probably won't wear this anytime soon maybe if I like go out somewhere I don't go out, but if I were to do something, I don't know. I mean, I turned 21, so maybe if I went to, like, a bar or something, maybe, but this is definitely, like, a fall color, but I just want to share it with you guys, not for the color, but for the formula. Like, I tried this on, and I was like, holy crap, like, this is so good. Like, I'm going to go and pick up more. I can't wait because they're really good, and you guys should get them. Uh, my next favorite is, guys, I finally got it. Me and my sister have been wanting this color for so long. And it's the Kat Von D Lolita. They finally had it stocked in my Sephora. One left. You know I picked it up. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is like, has been sold out for so long. It's that color right there. And I think I, I, I figured out why it sells out so fast is because it's such a Kylie Jenner like lip color and I, that's like so in right now if you guys can get your hands on it get it because it sells out sells out so freaking fast and it's so annoying because my sister is still trying to look for it I think she's just gonna order it online she's giving up <laughs> um my next favorite are the NYX intense butter glosses this is in the color funnel delight really pretty for spring and my target actually just i don't have an alta near me but the target um that i go to they actually have all these so and i picked up most of them so i'm thinking i'm gonna do a lip swatch video for you guys like this video or let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that because i feel like that'd be fun because i don't know they're affordable and they're good so that way you guys can see the colors and maybe if you want to pick some up you can see how they look on me I don't get a feel off that, but this is in the color Funnel Delight. Really good for spring, summer. They're really good and affordable, like I just said. So yeah, I think that finishes my beauty favorites. Oh my god, that was long. Okay, so moving on. So my next favorites that I have is um, hair. No, I can go random. Okay, so my next favorite that I have is clothing. So... First, we'll start off with, I I don't know why, I used to think they were like, why are people wearing those? But I've been loving chokers. And this one, I've been wearing, it's like my go-to, it looks like that. This one's from um, Charlotte Russe. So, yeah, I've been loving this. It just like looks cute with any outfit, and I don't know, really like it. So, yeah. Um, the next article of clothing that I've been loving is... Um, these boots that I got at Target, they look like that. And I, they were only on sale for like 11 bucks, so I was like, whatever, I'll just pick them up. And I actually love them. They're so comfortable. And like, I feel like like maybe not for summer it might be too hot, but for spring, for like the cooler days, like, I don't know, I feel like they're okay to wear and they'll be good for fall and obviously winter. But yeah, I've been loving these. I've been like my go-to shoes. Um, staying on the shoe um i've been loving my converse they're high top i actually got these in the mail on last friday and uh, they're so comfy and so cute and they just go with any outfit and yeah i've been loving these comfortable and cute so been loving those um so 
yeah my i don't have that much clothing just because i've been working a lot so don't really wear anything besides my uniform but i've been loving flannels not really to just like wear but i um throw like put them around my waist and tie them again like another trend that i was like why are people doing that but i love it it's so cute and like i don't like me, my boyfriend and i we went like mini golfing i just said like like five million times but we went mini golfing and it was nice to just like throw on over my waist because it was hot but then as we went and got like ice cream and stuff it did get a little chilly so it was nice to just like throw on so yeah i've been really loving just tying flannels around my waist i think they're really cute especially with my converse i don't know trend i've been liking and lastly is um i showed this in my haul my last haul that i did is this bathing suit and lately i've i don't remember the last time i bought a two-piece bathing suit I don't know I've just been loving one pieces and this has been my go-to the one I pick up all the time when I'm just laying up on my pool it gives you some awkward tan lines but I don't know I really like it I like the colors of it and I like the cutout so now going on to random favorites so I have quite a few so let's get through this pretty fast because video is gonna be long um I've been loving the simple this is the cleaning my cellar okay the water I just put this on like a um, cotton like thing, cotton pad. It takes off all my makeup and I also been loving the simple clean and facial wipes. This is a good brand, doesn't irritate my skin at all, doesn't like burn. Really good, gets all the makeup off and my skin feels really soft after I use it. So I've been loving these. Um, the next favorite that I actually need to get more of is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I love this for, especially for the summertime. This smell is the coconut and exotic tropical so that's I'm loving that but it's I don't know I find myself like after I get out of the pool if um, my hair it could be like gross and from going out it's just nice to like sp spray this in and it doesn't look so like dry my hair doesn't look dry and like damaged I don't know I've been loving this I need to get a new one um I also have been loving to put these together my sleep lavender cam cam oil okay pillow mist I can talk um, this is from Bath and Body Works. I just sprayed this before I go to bed and I find, I don't know, it like doesn't like calm me, but it just smells really good. So I've been loving that. And for my room, I've been loving the Mediterranean Lavender Febreze Air Effect. It's at Target and it's like a $2. It just smells so good. Like really calming. It almost smells like boy. So I really like that. Um, another favorite. I mean random favorites. I've been loving the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texture and Hair Cream and the Beach Babe Texture and Sea Salt Spray. These together makes, um, I feel like I have like beach waves in my hair. So these are really good, affordable at like Target and CVS. So I've been loving that also. Um, especially like now when it's really hot too, like I don't want to like apply heat to my hair. So that's like just good to like look cute, but not too much. I don't know. I just hate being hot and having my hair straightened because it always gets frizzy. My next random favorite is the Waikiki Beach Coconut. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this one. If any of you guys have smelled um, Tiki Beach, the candle, which is Emily and I's favorite, this one almost smells similar to it. So, um, highly suggest getting this. I used it last night and I can still smell it on me oh my gosh it's amazing you guys need to go pick that up um last yeah my last random favorite is um the Gucci Guilty perfume which Emily actually picked up in the um around Christmas time or she got it for Christmas time and then she sprayed it one time and I was like whoa that smells so good so I got I got one too and I've been loving it this month I've been spraying it like every day so um, yeah Oh, no, last random favorite are these sunglasses that I got at Forever 21 for, like, $6. They're just, like, the circular, and I don't know, I really like them. There's, yeah, just been wearing these a lot during the month of May. So now, I'm going to do a few of my favorite, um, like, food favorites, which I didn't do in my last one. But I don't know, I've been trying to eat, like, really good this month. Like, not, like, on a diet, but just trying to watch what I eat a little bit. So, I don't know. I, I feel like when I eat better, I have more energy throughout the day rather than when I eat bad. But, I mean, yeah. 
So my first favorite are these honey roasted peanuts dry roasted. I know that I don't think these are the healthiest peanuts for you, but they're better than like grabbing chips or something like that. So yeah, they look like that. I've been loving these. I just put a bag full and I just eat them from work. They're really good. Um, my next is this Greek strawberry cheesecake. It's so good. And these are like really good yogurts for you, the light and fit. And yeah, so these ones are really good. I've been loving these this month, this month. And I've been loving, I'm trying to stay away from, I mean, I don't really care that much about coffee. Like I like it, so I'm not gonna not drink it, but I am trying to stay away, not only just for like, because I cannot just have it regular. I need to have it extra, extra. So that's like the bad part. So I've been loving green tea which um, I got at Dunkin' Donuts, but I saw this in the market, so I got this, and it's really good. It's so good. It's green tea with ginseng, ginseng and honey. Been loving this also. And yeah, that's all I have for uh, my, so yeah, that's all that I have for food favorites. Not a lot because I just went to the grocery market yesterday, and I'm still trying to like see what I like. But yeah, now we'll go on to um, song of favorites. Oh yeah, no. Okay, so now let's, um, I don't know, like, I want to start a thing where, like, I talk about, like, my YouTube favorites, but lately I've been so behind on YouTube, like, I think there was, like, 50-something in my subscription box, so I cannot just pick out one, but lately I've been loving vlog channels, like, watching people's vlogs and their favorites. I love favorites videos. So, yeah, I don't know, I'm really debating on whether or not I want to start a vlog channel. I feel like those are so fun to just watch and see, like, how people live their lives. Follow them kind of sketchy but I don't know I really enjoy them I think they're fun and yeah so let me know if you guys would want to, uh, Emily and I to start that because we can do that but it's just we just don't know if anyone would watch them you know to like buy the equipment and all that but let us know and um what else so yeah those have been my like favorite YouTube videos um for books I'm I need suggestions i going to target after work today and maybe i'll pick one up and i'll let you guys know if i get one but i've really been wanting to start reading and yeah so i guess now we'll just end this favorites with my favorite songs there's been like a lot of good ones lately out i feel my favorite at the moment right now is let me get it is um, Nicki Minaj and Be Beyonce. Feel myself. I love this song. I'll just play a little bit of it. Thanks, song. Okay, so yeah, you got the point. <laughs> um, I'm trying to learn all the lyrics to that song. Um, because I want to be Nicki Minaj oh my gosh okay this next song I love it's um Blake Shelton Sangria let me get to it you kiss my hand in your it's really good um there was another one that I've really been liking let me find it I forgot what the name of it is oh okay this one's always on the radio but it's really good and I just I don't even like care for the lyrics I just like the beat Oh, okay. One more and then we'll be done with songs. Oh. Let me find that. That was You Know You Like It. I don't know who the artist is. This is The Night Is Still Young by Nicki Minaj. I don't know. It just reminds me of like summer, being with like friends. Okay. 
So yeah, um, I think that's it. So yeah, that concludes my May favorites. And yeah, so I have a lot of videos planned out for you guys to be doing. I just gotta buy the them. But um, yeah, so let me know what you guys have been loving this month of May. And yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.